Hi there folks. I'm going to try to get in one last video for 2015. Uh, this just arrived this afternoon. It is an American Lock uh, Series 7200, which is kind of interesting because while the shackle uh, ball bearing retainer uh, and body design really aren't any different from just about any other American Lock that you'll uh, encounter, what makes it kind of unique amongst padlocks is that it uses a 7-pin tubular uh, lock core. So here's the key for it. There's nothing particularly special about the tubular lock compared to others, aside from the fact that you don't see them in padlocks very often. Um, now, they do have some very interesting uh, varying spring strengths between different pin stacks and a few other tricks up their sleeve to make this a little bit more challenging to pick than other tub tubular locks that you might encounter. But let's see if we can get this open for you on camera. So as before, uh, we're going to take our convertible uh, tubular lock pick, lighten the tension, zero the feelers, and tighten it up. Now, compared to others that you might encounter, we've got to go very tight on the tension with this because this does have some very strong return springs that will overset your feelers very quickly. But we're going to get in there, get it indexed, and start wiggling it back and forth, trying to get those pins to bind, and there we go. I think we've got it, and we're going to lock that off. And that's an open. Now, let's see if we can return this to the locking position. And there we go. Let's lock back up. So now, this is the nice thing about uh, tubular picks, because they are essentially self-impressioning tools. You can always go back later, and assuming that you did lock it off correctly, Anyway, it seems that I didn't lock it off quite enough, and one of those springs has uh, failed, but we did get it open. So, until next time, uh, or rather, until 2016, have fun and happy picking.